I'm going to make it. I'm going to. I'm going to. Got a will and into existence. Welcome to the Lost in Failures. It is a survival game with some story elements. And out the bat, we're greeted with something other than English. Even though the title, etc., is in English. So we know this means exit. This is credits. Maybe this is options. Let's go in there. Now, everything's in English. Fix that in the options. Let's hit play. New game. Yes. Are you a little lost about your current goal? If so, click on the something. I missed it. What do you think about stealth? When you're inside a large plant, enemies and animal. Okay. The tooltips don't stay up that long enough to read them. Escaping on the foot from a large predator is quite difficult. So. Consider, okay, not enough time. What we got? Ah! <laughs> Just fell out of a building. The lady. Lost in failures. That is quite the fail here. Falling to your death. Mom, could you tell me a story? I'm not sleeping. Yes. Yes. Many centuries ago, a family who lived in a beautiful house in the country. They lived well with life and using the resources of nature, for the land was very fertile. Everything was going well in the lives of these peasants, but after some time they realized that something was wrong with the climate of the region. The crops began to die, the trees rotted, the grass lost its color, and famine came. The weather problems were serious enough to put their survival at risk. The family tried everything to solve the problems they were facing, but nothing worked, with no perspective of what to do. The patriarch of the family began to pray and worship Sile, the mother of all gods, responsible for nature. Days later, Sile descends from heaven with all her power and glory. When she steps on the ground, her body integrates with nature and restores all the fauna and flora. After everything was done, the goddess took possession of the body and soul of the poor father of the family and turned him into her slave. This was not part of the agreement, but it was already too late. Everything has a price. That's what the goddess told the peasants desperate for the loss of their father. Moral of the story, be careful when trusting someone. You rarely know who you are dealing with. I guess that's what led us here. Falling out of a building to ending up on an island. How is this a thing? Let's see how they tell that story. Get out. What? Where am I? How did I get here? I have a really bad headache. <laughs> what happened? Really bad headache. Is there anyone here? Help! I'm not well. I need medical attention. Okay, is that why it's blurry? I can't run. Seek help in the forest. 
Calm down. Calm down. I'm going to make it. I'm going to. I'm going to. Gotta will it into existence. Well, I guess you're getting help now. They instantly found you. Wow. What a weird nightmare. Oh. What? By the way, I wasn't dreaming. It actually happened. <laughs> There's a torch there. At left. least I feel a little better now. Am I still here? I must have been awake for a long time. Yes, you're still here. It's already night. Right, who let's... left this equipment here? Who left this Regardless here? Regardless of who it was, I think it's good to pick them up. Especially the torch, since it's very dark. No stuff. Inventory? Let's explore. Look! There's smoke there. Maybe there's someone in that area who can help me. Well, let's do it then. Let's go. There's something off in the distance there, too. But they want us to go. Mm -hmm. That smoke. Consume some of the energy. Represented by the lightning bolt. A fire with no one there. Is there anyone here? I'm in need of help. Let's cut scenes just pop into. Oh my god. Oh what my god. Your eyes? Oh are my you like god. This? <laughs> this delivery of the Who lines. are you? Answer my question. Stay away from me. Help. Help. Ah. You just stand there and let it happen. <laughs> now we need heals. Oh, Get up. Just got... We have things to do. Thank <laughs> you very much. I thought I was going to die. My name is David. What is your name? Basic name. Hades. Who are they? Hades. Who are you? Why are you like this? You don't look good at all. You're really hurt. Follow me. I will help you. Yes, help me. Okay. I asked <laughs> questions. Will you not answer me? <laughs> the individuals who captured you are the hollow soldiers. They built several camps and occupations in this region. Believe me. They are not friendly and have a limited consciousness. They can be characterized as empty beings without essence. Empty beings. You don't even have to ask me to believe it. I realized a few minutes ago that they are quite violent. The hollow soldiers are just soldiers controlled by a transcendental force that seeks to protect this Those world at any sounds. cost. My god. It's even hard to believe. There should be a walk, but that moment, everything seems crazy. You are one of them. No, oh, I almost yes, became ran. one of them, but I was able to fight the force that controls them and keep part of my essence. We can keep up with them just walking regular. We arrived. These are medicinal herbs. They are very common herbs in coastal regions. And when consumed, they considerably improve the functioning of the immune system. Okay. In other words, it is a type of medicine that can cure illnesses and injuries. Collect some herbs of this type and some fiber to craft a simple cure. And some fiber, you say. Uh, fiber. There we go. In a stick, why not? Uh, lost in failures. Not too bad for five bucks so far. Even has voiceover work. What more could you ask for? Even if it is maybe AI, it's still something. I don't have to read. K 
Okay, we picked those. What else? Unless he wants me to get that one too. Let's go ahead and take it. Fiber, fiber. I'm going to take these two. So there's a bit of stealth, like you said. You can hide in these little shrubby bushes. All right, let's uh, craft something. Craft a curing powder. Okay. Curing powder. This. Craft. 25 units of health. All right, now we got to consume it. Use. There we go. I'm already feeling better. Thanks. A few yes. days ago, I lived a normal life in a metropolitan city. I had a family, a house, a job. And you were falling out of a building as well. And out of nowhere, I wake up on a beach with beings wanting to kill me. Where we are? How did I get here? What is happening? Stop. I understand how you're feeling. But now is not the time for drama, much less questions. Since I killed all the hollow soldiers that were in that camp you were in, let's settle down there. It will be a safe place to spend the night. Let's go. What about that building back that way? It will soon be dark, and if we don't do anything, you'll be lucky if you wake up injured in an enemy camp. Dark again? What do you mean Just by that? Daytime. You're more likely to be dead by dawn if we don't prepare. Oh, I'm preparing. I'm taking these. As we know, they're health items now. <sighs> All right, let's get back to this we? guy. Since when have we been together? How can I trust a guy I met like 10 minutes ago in the middle of the woods? Because he saved you, that's why. So does that mean you prefer to trust those who beat you instead of trusting the one who saved you? Yes. As I said, stop making drama. Stop with the questions. You need me. The only problem is that the camp is in ruins. We need to fix and create many things. Truth. While I clean this area here, look for some wood logs and some sticks so we can build some things. Okay. You have an axe to lend me. There's a stone axe on that chair. You can take it. Okay. Okay. I don't remember seeing this earlier. <laughs> Don't axe. Alright, gotta chop some trees down. Let's fell some trees, shall we? First, I'm gonna grab some of these energy herbs. Why not? Okay, just, just equip it. See how long it takes to fell the tree. Eh, not too long. Four sticks. Just three chops, not bad. Spinning tree. This forest seems to be very dense. It is safer to walk close to the coast so I do not This forest seems to be very dense. It is safer to walk close to the coast so I do not get lost. Of course, I agree. Alright, let's get some more logies. 
Tasty fruits can fall off from specific trees after a few axe attacks. Nice. Got some apples. And a spell this one. the more logs. All right, let's give the stuff to Hades. <sighs> Thanks. These materials will be enough. And oh yeah, sounds like we got a whole sawmill and stuff going on. And it's dark. Out. Enough for a tent. The materials you brought to me were very helpful. I was able to build a tent so that we could make other <laughs> structures for the camp. Now that we're safer, I think I owe you an explanation about what's going on. Now that you've noticed. Take close attention <laughs> to what I'm going to tell you. It's going to sound crazy, but it's the truth. Most people define the concept of reality as everything that exists, everything that is around you. But how can we know that something exists? How do we characterize something as real or unreal? Definitely, human beings are not prepared to understand the paradoxes of the concept of existing. Human beings are very fragile and vulnerable. They use the five senses to define what is real. This is foolish. Because the senses deceive and can be easily manipulated. Manipulated? In what sense? I'll send you the real one. You're in a simulation. None of that exists in reality. Simulation? A group of agents working for the company Metadata Analysis have kidnapped you and subjected your brain to the control of advanced artificial intelligence. What? It's not possible. You're crazy. I shouldn't have trusted you. David, listen to me. That's the truth. Right now you're unconscious in their lab. Everything you see or feel is being generated by advanced software. Although it's just a simulation, your brain interprets this world as real. So if you die here, it's over. Oops. Why would they kidnap me? What do they gain by subjecting any random person to the control of an artificial intelligence? This guy sounds like he's about to cry no matter you, what he says. But it's a fact that they have a lot to gain by doing so. The average human brain has half a billion neuronal connections. That's a lot of power and energy that can be used to improve technological systems. Artificial intelligence harnesses and enslaves the brains of people who are trapped in the software for the purpose of improving their own system. Once the software utilizes the victim's full potential, it emits high current electrical waves into the brain, culminating in the instantaneous death of the individual. Generally, this takes an average of 30 days to happen. How tense. So you mean I'm going to die anyway? There's nothing I can do. Come. Despite all this, there's a way to beat this software and escape the simulation. Tomorrow I'll explain it to you. Let's go to sleep. You've had a pretty turbulent day today. Mm-hmm. Just look up at the sky and go to sleep. That scene. Kinda. Oh, it is. Yeah, definitely put some work into this. <clears throat> Lucas did pretty much everything here. Except for some of the tech users and stuff. Go ahead and do the credits.
and dubbing. Lost in failure. Even got beginning credits. Rise and shine. Good morning. I hope you slept well. Today's going to be a long day. It took me a while to fall asleep. Everything you said to me messed with my mind a lot. Don't worry. I'll explain everything you need to know. I, like you, was once a victim of the system. When I was subjected to the control of this software, she has a I had no idea what to do to get back into the real world. Well, he fleshed out story here. Unfortunately, I figured out how to get out of here too late. After that, I decided that I would assist any other victims who arrived in this fictional world. Every computer system was developed by people, so software has flaws, bugs. Humans are imperfect. When someone needs to cheat some computer system, what is usually done? Programmers hack systems through errors in the codes. Exactly. There are five major failures in this world. <laughs> There's one, huh? These simulation errors are so severe for their operation that artificial intelligence has built for large force in the places where they are located. Each arena has a group of hull soldiers guarding the area. The entities that oversee each area are the Lords, supreme beings who are created to storage bleach. All this was done by AI, so that no victim could compromise the integrity of this world. I think I understand how it works. So I need to invade each temple, eliminate the hollow soldiers and kill each Lord. Perfect. This will cause the simulation to collapse, and consequently, You'll go back to the real world. But you'll still be trapped, though. I get it. Right? I'm going to do anything to get out of this world. Be careful not to delude yourself. The enemies are strong. You will need to prepare yourself before facing them. So feel free to explore this world, craft equipment and resources to fight with dignity. This region is very large, so I tamed a horse to accompany you on this journey while you were sleeping. Ooh. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm really going to need it. To end our conversation, take this radio and a sketch of a map of the region. I'm going to use this radio to communicate when we're far away. The first fort is already marked on your map. Now it's up to you. Thank you. We can have horses and stuff with that. No great thirst can be mounted by the meat and drop icons, respectively. Eat and hydrate frequently to keep them full. Alright. We got here the workbench. Interesting. Just sticks around. Life is complicated, David. Most of the time, we are not aware of the path we are taking. You're right. So we can kick up some oars here. Let's explore on a horse. What the heck? With those footsteps. Lost in failures. Not too bad for the five bucks. There's a lot to this than I thought than I thought would be the case. Usually these survival games in this price point are not as featured. Let's put it that way.
We gotta do something about those fist step sounds. Chicken. Tents over there. Chicken equals food. We need food. Can't hurt it. Dang it. Piece of wood. I guess it's a weapon. Use it as a weapon. Let's find out. Yeah, I think it's a weapon. Let's see if we can beat that chicken over the head. Where'd it go? We're dying. Thirst. Gonna move on foot for now. Yeah, that's not a snake in Basin. Energy herb. Where's a the chicken? There we go. Damn, run away from this. There we go. Oh, it's a freaking snake. Guy, okay, we can't freaking beat it. Swim again. Got attacked by a freaking snake. The snake better not follow. We're just gonna have to die of hunger. Yeah. Got to happen. But yeah, this is lost in failures. Not bad. Not too bad for what it is. Yeah, this stomach sounds horrible. You'd think the freaking fire that we made would be able to cook at it. It's not the case. Yep, there it goes. We died. Yep. Perfect. Perfect end on right there. Lost in failures. That was indeed a fail. But it was uh, not bad overall experience. <laughs> so we get started at the camp. Looks like. No, it starts as where we last saved the game. Okay. There's a lot of freaking pigs around here. But yeah, lost in failures. Not bad for five bucks. There's a lot to do. And there's actually a story to work towards. So there's something motivating you to keep you going. So there you go. Until next time.